Trading in commodities a subject to market risk. Read the detailed disclaimer carefully available on the screen. Good morning viewers. Hope you all are doing well. This week we are celebrating May's week in Oriho Imandi from 7th of Feb to 12th of Feb. So today I will be talking about May's global supply and demand outlook. So to begin with the prices overview, seaboard maize prices gained by 1.4% week over week due to the dryness concerns in Argentina, which would lead to a crop reduction production estimates. Global maize production is estimated at 1,207 million metric tons higher by 7.5% year over year. The major producing countries of maize are United States, wherein the production is estimated at 384 million metric tons, which is up by 7.1% year over year. The second largest producer of maize is China, wherein the production is estimated at 272.6 million metric tons, which is again up by 4.6% year over year. The third largest producer of maize is Brazil, wherein the production is estimated at 115 million metric tons, which is again up by 32% year over year. And this would be a record production for Brazil. Now the fourth largest producer of maize is Argentina and there the production is estimated at 54 million metric tons which is again up by 7% higher year over year. But the dryness concerns which is persisting in the South American corn growing regions of Brazil and Argentina would impact the crop yield severely wherein Various trade estimates and even USDA attache is reducing their estimate by around 3 million metric ton to 51 million metric tons. And for Brazil, somewhere around 111 to 114 million metric tons. So in the February was day report of USDA we may see slight reduction in the maize production numbers of Brazil and Argentina. Now coming towards the consumption estimates, global maize consumption is estimated at 1,179 million metric tons, which is up by 3.1% from previous year. The major consumers of maize are United States being the largest consumer, wherein the per consumption is estimated at 315 million metric ton, which is up by 2.8% from last year. The second largest consumer of maize is China, wherein the consumption is estimated at 294 million metric tons, which is again up by 3% from last year. Brazil consumption is estimated at 73 million metric tons, and it's up by 2.8%. Now coming towards the end stock part, global end stock is estimated at 303 million metric tons, which is up by 3.7% year over year. China ending stock is estimated at 210 million metric tons, which is up by 2% year over year. And China holds around 69% of global corn stocks. In US, the end stock is estimated at 39 million metric tons, which is again up by 25% year over year. US holds around 13% of the global ending stocks. So together, US and China holds around 82% of the global ending stocks with them. Price outlook, the bullish momentum is expected to continue in the coming fortnight. Given the 
dryness for cust in the coming week across Argentina and parts of Brazil. The upper range of the seaboard mesh prices is likely to be 644.35 and the lower range is 604.49. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you liked it. Please do like and subscribe our channel for more insights on commodities. Details are given on the screen. Thank you very much.